Thank you. Thank you. Can you please state your name? Yes. Um, Tanya Hart, American Urban Radio Networks, and online. And oh gosh, I need to be about yes, five get comfortable. Taller, good. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, so let me know. Okay. Well, congratulations. Thank oh, you. Oh my goodness. What, Thank what you. What a really good performance. And you're so gorgeous. Thank you. In real life and on the screen. Thank you as, so much. As well. But that's part of Superfly. Yes. You got to bring it. And, and you, you do. Did. What did you glean from the last the, the last series of Superflies that mm. you brought to this one? Um, definitely, I think just having the supportive woman, that story, that um, keeping that same relationship between Georgia and Priest was important for us. Now, I didn't watch the original until after we finished filming. Okay. I wanted to bring a, an authenticity to it, just have a new perspective, a new approach. Um, obviously, it's from complete two different time periods, and I definitely wanted to be relevant to the woman, you know, today, in today's age. So, but after watching it, it's naturally still seeing that love between the two and that support, you know, that was inevitable. And I'm glad that that still reigns true. It does. And I, and I have to tell you, Sheila Fraser is still a good friend of mine. <gasps> oh, <laughs> tell her I said hello. I, I will. I, will. <laughs> I haven't met her. I will probably so, talk to her as a part of this. Oh, awesome. Well. But awesome. you know what really is, is re refreshing? I mean, obviously, we're living in the Me Too era. Yes. And, and in the, Georgia, in mm -hmm. the revisited Superfly, yes. is very much your own woman. I yeah. mean, she's like a partner. Tell, talk a little bit absolutely. about that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that she is. Um, you know, it has the same amount of authority that the other guys who are in priest world um, has. He can come to her and talk to her and, you know, about business. You know, it's, it's no keeping her shelter because she's the woman or she can't handle it. Yes, she can. He knows it and he needs her. He needs her opinion and her guidance just as much as she needs him. So it's a really cool um, dynamic between the two. And I love the fact that we see her outside of Priest World. We see her in the art gallery. So knowing that she does have her own life and her own job and her own agenda. She works for the mayor. Um, she's highly respected. And so the, the running the two stories, being able to be professional but then also come home and be a little more raw and grounded with her man, you know, and give real advice and be down for whatever it is they have to do to get him through these obstacles. And, you know, Atlanta is almost a character in yes. the movie. Yes. Uh, obviously, the first one was set in Harlem. Mm -hmm. We're now, you know, which has been so gentrified, you wouldn't know that these days. Yes. So we had to go to Atlanta for this one. Yes. Um, talk a little bit about that, about how Atlanta really is kind of the center of the universe in it terms is. of this music. It is, it is. This a genre. lot of, right, a lot of um, music, culture, hip hop influences are coming from Atlanta these days like it was once upon a time in New York. Um, but like you said, times have certainly changed, and Atlanta's definitely given New York its run for its money. Um, it's, it's like all of our, you know, if we start naming musicians and recording artists, we're probably gonna name some Southern artists, and, and not New York-based artists, and not taking away from them, but it's definitely, you know, they found their name, definitely have brought themselves to the same, you know, playing field as the New York and the LA. Reputation. Right. And, and of course, you got Future's music. I mean, yes. You know, he is just the hottest thing. Yes. All over the place. Yes. And we had to live up to that because yeah. of, in the original with Curtis Mayfield, that was the, you know, a historical soundtrack. It did arguably better than that film itself. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we had to live up to those standards. We had to get the hottest producer, and that is Future. Go. Yeah. Well, hey, and you too. So you're the hottest. You're the hottest. Oh. <laughs> guys are fun. But congratulations. Thank